like you never seen a white person before. Jaws all on the floor like Pam, like Tommy just burst in the door. We started whooping her ass worse than before. They first were divorced, sewing her over furniture. Ah! It's the return of the... Oh, wait, no, wait, you're kidding. He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? Welcome back to the Global Star Network. Um, so you want to be straight in my so yesterday I took a stop by the boutique in Palm Desert, California, and I pulled out the wrong weed. Well, let's just show them everything we got. And I got a bunch of crap. I bought two grams for thirty bucks, and it came with two pre rolls of the house blend and a little cookie. <laughs> And I was really stoned when I went in there, so I was acting like a fool the whole time, <laughs> similar to now. <laughs> but today we'll be reviewing the Frankenstein! <laughs> oh my god! Frankenstein! <laughs> It's not a too pungent aroma, but it smells, it smells pretty good. Let's give it a look-see. See how it looks sees. Uh, so the outside is really frosty and green like forest. But then when you break into the middle of it, it gets all orange hair and Yeah, it, was, it just came in one of the other so it was like, pretty dense. But uh, let's stop screwing around here. Let's get down to business. Let's, let's taste it. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Don't give a fuck like me, who dress like me, walk, talk, and act like me. It just might be the next best thing, but not quite me. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating, so won't the real Slim Welcome back, ladies and gents. Now we're going to talk about how it tastes. It's definitely a very odd flavor. I've never tasted or really smelled, no, I've smelled. I haven't really tasted weed a strain that would taste quite like this one. It's, yeah, I can't really identify the flavor. Just because it's different than any flavor I've ever tasted before. I haven't even heard of this strain before. It's like a... Well, like, and I can't find it on the internet. It reminds me of a grasshopper. I think it tastes like a grasshopper. A fucking insect? Yeah. Oh, grasshopper? I don't know why, but the flavor connects to my brain, and it makes me think grasshopper. Have you ever tasted a grasshopper? Probably. <laughs> Let's talk about the buzz. <laughs> the buzz. The Frankenstein makes you stupid. Yeah. If you're looking for a giggly stone, like walking around your house for two hours going, oh, Frankenstein! Then this is the strain for you. But if you're trying to focus on something, then stay away from the Frankenstein because it's going to make you retarded. Yeah, I've never felt this retarded high uh, before. I'm fucking stupid right now. Better smoke more. Yeah, better smoke more. Let's get more tired. So, what would you like to rate this one? Um, I think I'm gonna rate it a five out of seven. It's it's pretty fire, and the buzz is nice, but it didn't smell very strongly. It could smell a little more. I like those smelly weeds. I'm gonna give it a 6.3 out of 7 because it got me so high. 
I am the most medicated I've ever been. But it could have smelled stronger. I do agree with you. It smells a little funky. But, and the taste isn't too great. The taste was like, what is that? I don't know, it's unlike any of the other tastes I've ever tasted. It's weird. Unlike any other taste I've ever tasted. So, I don't know what else we can really say about the Frankenstein. It gets you stupid, it's a really strange strain, and you'll think you're Frankenstein, basically. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty intense. I think everyone should try the Frankenstein. Just to see how it makes you dumb. Alright, well thanks for stopping by, ladies and gents. Please tune in next time where we will smoke some more marijuana. <laughs> See you later. Bring it in, smoke it some weed.